The Power Watch X, a smartwatch that you never have to charge. And we already know this tech from the previous Power Watch model. Both of these have been designed and manufactured by a company called Matrix. And what X brings on top of the predecessor, time to inspect. Hi, welcome to this episode. My name is Michael and this Power Watch X was announced a few months ago during the summer of 2018 and it used to be one of the most successful Indiegogo campaigns ever. A few months have passed already and there have been a lot of updates both on the informational and the firmware sites. The first more detailed review about the X I've read on Android Authority, if you've never heard about their website and their community, yeah, may, make sure to check it out because it's one of the most brilliant resources about the Android and smart tech world. Back then, the review was pointing to a lot of negatives and I would like to see whether time has helped Matrix to find some solutions to some of these remarks. And therefore, I think it sounds fair to explore the three best and the three worst features of the PowerWatch X. No other way but to start with the essence, and that is, of course, the battery life. This is perhaps the main reason to get this watch. Basically, the battery life is close to infinity. It uses a thermoelectric generator to produce electricity and store it onto a very small battery, which capacity is, of course, not disclosed. Every process in this watch is optimized for consuming a minor amount of electricity and as long as you wear it on your wrist, it will run. The energy is being produced by the difference of the temperature between your skin and the top of the watch case. The generated power quantity is extremely low, but enough to keep a smartwatch up and running. And even for this single fact, it is totally worth supporting this kind of tech. There is indication on the display about the effectiveness of the charging process because the greater the temperature difference between the surrounding air and your wrist temperature is, the greater the produced power is. It makes sense to mention that in cold seasons, like right now over here, the charging would be much more efficient rather than in the hot season where the outside temperature would be relatively high. Therefore, if you wear the Power Watch X in countries with constantly high temperatures, you're going to notice that the charging indication points to ineffective. I never had the chance to simulate this, but I'm pretty sure that Matrix took a good care even for customers who live in really hot areas. My second favorite part, and I believe you can see that without any problem or trouble, yes, that's the display monochromic display feels like this is the right way to go for watches, especially those of them that are good to be used outdoors. You know that visibility is the main issue with AMOLED and LED-based displays, and this monochromic transflective solution is visible in daytime, and the degree of visibility doesn't depend on the weather conditions. Well, at least if it is not complete darkness. But even so, Matrix have you covered? Just long press the mode button and there is backlight which is going to illuminate the screen. And although not perfect, it means that you can wear the watch no matter what. I've really thought about the third main feature and initially I was going to speak about the build quality, but I'll be much more precise here and I'll point to the waterproof rating. They say it should be safe to swim with the watch even at 200 meters pressure. This means that the build quality is outstanding and you can indeed feel this by just touching the watch metal body which looks big and durable and somewhat too aggressive. By the way, if the whole thing looks like a small heat sink, that is exactly the idea. And combined with the excellent visibility of this display, um, it really means that we can wear the watch without being worried about the conditions, no matter whether we talk about uh, dust 
or mud or water when swimming. But yeah, this is where the first big disadvantage kicks in. Uh, that's the software. Mentioning swimming, if you do that, the watch has no capability of measuring this physical effort. The first big minus, it's the software overall. Getting a device called smartwatch usually hires the expectations and we somehow take it for granted that uh, these things can measure heart rate, calories burned, uh, usually they have a GPS, they can show us the schedule, notifications uh, and so on. Well, the PowerWatch X is smart, but not that smart. It's fair to say that this is where the X model is different to the original PowerWatch. It supports notifications, although not in a great way yet. Troubles with syncing and unreliable notifications, these were two of the main points that Android Authority were criticizing the X in their initial review, and both of them seem to work fine now. I have received absolutely every notification that I got on my phone, nothing was missed, and sync works fine, except that it's a bit slow. Also, you have absolutely no control on which apps will send notifications, at least via the Android app. But it's not just that. The content of the messages is actually not shown. You might see the name of the sender or the topic, and whatever is shown is somewhat randomly chosen by the app algorithm. And I believe there are no plans to integrate reading full texts. Could be that the hardware isn't that good. Overall, the amount of configuration you could apply via the app is sometimes giving me the feeling that Matrix have developed an app because they had to. It does almost nothing useful except storing historical record of your activity data and pushing uncontrollably the notifications. We don't really get any sports modes and the only fitness values that are being measured are uh, the calories burned and the total distance. The distance measurement is actually approximation and quite random because it's based on the accelerometer because yes, it can count steps too. There is no GPS and maybe the lack of GPS and a heart rate sensor will be my main reasons to sometimes choose another over the PowerWatch X. The whole software, both inside the watch and outside it, I mean the smartphone app, they seem to be uh, too poor on features, maybe too conservative because the lack of some features most likely is a consequence of Matrix's desire to guarantee decent battery operation. The second big minus, in my opinion, is the design. Yes, it looks very good. And I already mentioned that the build quality is outstanding and probably close to what Garmin Phoenix series provide in terms of durability, but there are some elements that can be quite annoying. First of all, I believe it is too thick and looks like other people share the same opinion. Some of the edges are quite sharp and that can even endanger your own safety. I've noticed that if you wear a tight sleeve, it feels like you're scratching and rubbing the fabric and while only some people may find this feeling too annoying, the scratching can easily damage the fabric, so be careful with your clothes. Besides that, the design of the watch looks too simple, too basic. While the materials used are clearly of very good quality and feel really premium, yeah, the, the look of the case is somehow, I don't know, basic, maybe somewhat boring. I just feel it needs to be special. Even the regular power watch is a little more appealing compared to the X model. The third big disadvantage, without wanting to be cheeky here, is the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is available, but barely usable. If the phone is more than 2-3 meters away from you, forget about connectivity. And that includes notifications too, you won't receive any until you get Bluetooth reconnected. And this will, of course, not notify you about any calls that you receive in between. 
The poor Bluetooth range happens for a reason. It is not a bug, it's a feature, and that feature is called infinite battery. Yes, because of the wish to spend less energy, the PowerWatch X engineers have restricted the transmitting power of the Bluetooth module. It is strong enough, not super powerful, but above the average and is not continuous. If somebody is calling you, there are only two vibrations and you won't get any further. Which, especially in dynamic and noise environments, almost certainly means there's a great chance to miss the call. And this is where I'll, I'll stop with the negatives. If you still wonder whether to buy the power watch or not, well, don't wonder any longer. Go ahead and support Matrix. Go ahead and support development of this kind of awesome features. Yes, probably the PowerWatch X does not deserve to be called a smart watch because it lacks a lot of smart features, but it can measure your steps, it can count your calories, you have perfect display visibility 24-7, a smartphone app, notifications are somewhat being relayed and you're notified about calls, so it's, it's a good step in the right direction. And the most fascinating of all that, it's being powered by you. And the people staying behind this project are exactly the people that are moving our society forward. So I believe we should be much more supportive about this kind of initiatives. Uh, before we wrap up, I had the chance to test the PowerWatch X uh, thanks to a dear friend of mine. So Miro, thank you, mate. Uh, funny enough, the last time someone gave me a PowerWatch device, to try became part of the show. Life is fun, enjoy it, and see you soon, bye!